I just wanted to do a quick video on the title I think is going to be the answer is always the same I don't care what your problem is I don't care what your issue is I don't care what you're struggling with the answer is always the same the answer is always the first thing that you should look at is why did I do this why did I create this why did this situation come into my life why did this person do this to me with me for me always good or bad that's always the answer that's always the question and that's always the answer the answer is you are a creator God you have and always will create everything around you there are infinite possibilities available so why did you choose the possibilities that you chose now as you come out of your amnesia and you learn to be an an active creator and you actively search and go for the collective consciousness and the timelines that you want this is always the same question and answer why did I do this because I guarantee you you did it and there is an answer that you can learn from if it's something you don't want then you can look at it from the standpoint of is this something that was that I was taught with is this an old belief system is 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 fill in the blanks but the 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 answer is always the same it's you created it you you are the one that created it every single time every moment of every day so it did, doesn't matter what the question is that is what your answer initially is I created it next question why first question is why did this happen the answer to that is always well I created it therefore there must be a reason for it because I created it the situation the person's reaction the person's uh, interaction the situation always you created it so the next question is why why did you create it was it something you did out of habit is it something based on old belief systems really once you start learning to ask yourself that question to immediately instead of playing the blame game which is usually what most of us do is because whenever we're taught to figure out the reason why okay well the reason why in amnesia without knowing that your creator God is always because of something else okay and that's assigning blame outside of oneself but that's what we're taught to do assess the circumstance find out what created it because humans in this creationary process in this 3d 4d world have got it backwards they think that something happens to you out there because of outside forces you respond to it afterwards in reality your vibration has set up your vibration which is based on belief systems usually create a vibration sends a message to the universe and the universe inserts a situation that matches the vibration see it's done from you first and then the thing not the thing is done to you you create the thing you see so you have to start getting used to flipping that around in your mind because the first thing that all of us are taught like I said is to assess the situation find out how this was done to you where were you at the wrong place at the wrong time or the right place at the right time etc etc you collect all this data and then if it's bad you try not to do it again and if it's good you try to recreate it and recreate it better in reality it doesn't matter what the past did at all that's irrelevant because what you experienced today is what you vibrated yesterday and what you will experience tomorrow is based on what you vibrate today you see so we have to start remembering that everything is backwards everything is backwards right so the only reason you're going to collect data is to assess what you did yesterday that created today 
And if it was a good day today, you want to look back at tomorrow or yesterday and go, okay, what was I doing yesterday vibrationally that led me to creating this wonderful day today, right? And if you have a terrible day today, what did I do yesterday that created this horrible day for me today? It doesn't have anything to do really with what happened to you today that was bad. We'll use bad. If you had a bad day today, it's a vibrational match, but it's not necessarily a situational match. So let's say yesterday you got mad at the dog for chewing up its, your slipper. Okay. And you really, really got angry about it. So today somebody ran over your kid's bike, creating very similar vibration in you that you had yesterday. Only this time it was worse because it was a brand new bike that you bought the child for Christmas. So now you've got a screaming upset child and you've lost your money. Okay. So you see yesterday you got upset about the dog chewing up the, the slipper, got angry. That vibration went out to the universe. The universe said, okay, got it. You want three times that amount of that. Gotcha. Next day, neighbor runs over your kid's bike. Kid left it in the neighbor's driveway. So now you're angry at the kid. The kid's screaming and hollering. You're angry at the neighbor. The neighbor comes out, screams and hollering because now there's a, a damage to their vehicle. Everything is much, much worse than it was the day before. And it was simply you sending out the vibration to the universe that this is what I want. Now, of course, that's just one vibration. And you are a very, very complex God in a human body. So you're sending out many, many vibrations all the time. So if you stop and try to figure that out all the time, it gets very mom boggling. So usually I usually uh, deal with the major issues, the major, major good issues, the major bad issues. So if, if something bad happens today, immediately I stop. Do not blame anybody in the circumstance. I'm immediately looking at why and how I created this bad circumstance today. It had to have come from me before. That's the only way it can be done. It's the only way it can be done. So I want to not have that bad thing happen to me tomorrow. So immediately I pull back from the situation. I don't go out and search how I can avoid it. I don't immediately uh, go out and, and send out any vibrations of blame or judgment or anger or any of that kind of stuff. No, no, no. I immediately pull back into that situation and analyze it and say, okay, I accept that I immediately flared in this negative vibration, but I've got five seconds, so I got it. I was angry. Whoop, I'm angry. Pull it back. Now, how bad was it? Pretty bad. All right, something happened yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Okay, yeah, that's where it came from. The only reason I even do that is to just reinforce with my mind, my human mind, that I do create my own circumstances. My own universe is created by me every day. So when I look back, I don't go back to yesterday. I don't blame myself. I don't blame anybody in that circumstance either. I simply do it to reinforce to my mind to develop new belief systems that will counter the old ones of collecting and assessing data to avoid bad things or to create good things. I do that to replace that old belief system with the new belief system of I'm a creator God. I create daily, moment to moment, what happens to me. It's not anybody else's fault. It's my own. Good or bad, it's my own. So that is what I want y'all to know is it doesn't matter what the circumstance is. It doesn't matter what the person's doing to you. All of it can be changed literally in the blink of an eye by you once you get the hang of this. I don't care how bad the circumstance is. I don't care how bad the person is. You can literally change it all in a blink of an eye. Now, most of us don't because we are very ingrained in these belief systems. Most of us have been doing it for decades and it takes some practice to get yourself to stop doing it the old way and doing it the new, new way. But that's okay. Take a deep breath, 
Do it bit by bit, moment to moment, event by event, and you will start replacing that old belief system with the new belief system, which is accurate and will get you to a higher vibration and a better life. Moment to moment, assess that. Now, if going back to yesterday, you don't want to go back and, and mope on it. You don't want to go back to uh, today the bike incident happened, you stop after you've seeing it, you saw yourself start to flare in anger, you immediately go, oh, five seconds, pull it back. Where did that come from? Oh, I remember yesterday I got very angry about the dog and the slipper. Mm, okay, now that created this. I don't want that anymore. Remember, Brenda, Yvonne, Naya, <laughs> Brenda, Yvonne, Naya. I, hmm, yeah, and I should probably tell you guys that. When I'm talking to the old me, uh, belief system, the one that's really deeply involved in the old belief systems and my old life. I talk to me with my original name, which is Brenda, because that is the being that I picture there. I picture there. Naya, me now, is a different me. So it's easy for me to separate that in my mind another reason why i use the names uh, i separate the names it is another way for me to differentiate between those old belief systems and this new understanding that i can say brenda that was this way naya creator goddess this is the way it's really done to correct it but ultimately no matter what the circumstance is let me reiterate the answer is always the same. If you want to know why something happened, it happened because you did it. You created it that way. So the question becomes after that, why did you create it that way? Did you do it consciously or did you do it unconsciously? If you did it unconsciously, was it some kind of habit that you can look at, analyze and work towards stop doing anymore? Is it If it was consciously done, why did you do that consciously? But always the question should be, why did I do it? Because it's always coming from you. Everything all the time is because you created it that way. Always. Okay? Get it? Got it? Own it? Right? Okay, guys. All right, I'm going to go take a shower and get a layer of paint off of me. And, uh... Yeah. Huge hugs to everybody. I love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.